Hello everyone, my name is Techno, and today I would like to talk to you about the Solutions Architect certification. Now keep in mind this is the Associate certification and not the Professional certification. Recently I passed my certification and I believe I finished it in a span of two weeks. So even though I have AWS experience and I'm able to understand most of the networking services, there's still a lot of different services out there that I didn't really understand too much about. So how did I prepare for this? Well, there's two things. Number one is going to Cantrell IO's uh, course for the Solutions Architect. This is extremely juicy information. It has so much detailed information about every single service out there and have labs to go along with it. The second resource that I took was the Tutorial Dojo's practice exams. These were extremely helpful. It was able to help me understand how to prepare for this certification, what kind of questions would be asked, what's the structure of the exam. There's a lot of different kind of questions to expect and most people would have a hard time dealing with the time aspect to it. For me, I finished it with about 50 minutes remaining, but for some others, it might be a little bit longer, a little bit shorter. It really depends on how well you are when it comes to taking certifications. Typically with any kind of certification, there's always gonna be keywords within the question. And on top of that, there's going to be two answers that you can already eliminate. So it's always like a 50% chance that you will get it right. I will tell you that you can at least eliminate two questions by process of elimination. So then you're gonna be stuck with two answers and you have to read those answers side by side and understand what's the key difference between them and choose the best option. That's usually how I approach any kind of certification. It doesn't just go with this Solutions Architect certification, but with any other kind of certification out there. I can't go into the specifics of what questions were asked, but I will tell you that the practice exams from Tutorial Dojo, those are extremely great options to kind of get your feet wet and to understand what kind of questions will be asked and how to answer those kind of questions. For Tutorial Dojo, when I took the certification practice exams, I only did a total of two practice tests before I was completely ready to take the certification. I believe there's a total of seven practice exams out there, but I only did two. The whole purpose of me taking this certification in the first place was to understand how much did I know about other AWS services and what was the fastest time I could just pass this exam. I only have networking knowledge. I don't really have too much experience with all these other kind of services, but when I took Adrian Cantrell's courses, it allowed me to understand what services were out there and what did those services do. And if I wanted to do a lab about it, there's always an option for me to do so. Or if I really wanted to get into the nitty gritty details of a particular service, Adrian Cantrell's course was the best way to go. If you're trying to understand how to get into AWS, understand all the core services that are much more advanced compared to the Cloud Practitioner certification, this certification is for you. This certification is a prerequisite in order to be a solutions architect, but I could be wrong on that because obviously I'm not a solutions architect, but I wanted to let you know that this video serves to show you that it's not impossible to take a certification in a span of two weeks. Do you have to do this in two weeks? Absolutely not. The best time to take the certification is now, but of course, if you're trying to prepare for it, I would say at most, it should take you two months with the two resources that I mentioned to you. Again, I'm not sponsored by these resources. I just noticed that it worked for me and I'm sure that it'll work for you if you go ahead and go through the entire course for Adrian Cantrell and take all the seven practice exams. Every practice exam question takes about three or so minutes for me to understand, read it, and to get the right answer. Of course, this might vary from question to question. For networking questions, I answer that pretty quickly in less than one minute. For other questions like databases, it really made you think about what the actual answer was. If you take these practice exams at least one exam per day, you can get it all knocked out in a span of one week. Of course, if that's something you don't want to do, you can just space it out. I think two months is plenty of time for somebody to really understand all the services and to get at least an average of 800 to 900 points. If you're just trying to get a certification to get a certification because maybe you want to go to a solutions architect role, and you need this certification, it is possible to do it in two weeks. You just really have to work for it. And not only that, but if you just want to get into AWS in general, if you have the AWS Cloud Practitioner and the Solutions Architect certification, you're going to be rock solid to go ahead and 
get a cloud engineering role at AWS. If you're ever curious to know what it's like to be a cloud support engineer and my thoughts about it after working at AWS for two years, feel free to click this video over here and I'll tell you exactly what my thoughts of what it's like to be a cloud support engineer and kind of who I was, how I got started into this role in the first place. If this video was helpful to you, like and subscribe because it'll help boost the algorithm. That way this video can go to other people who want to get into the cloud want to get into the IT industry, a chance to understand what are some steps that they can take right now to accelerate their growth and get into the cloud industry much more quickly. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching my video. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.